Now we're gonna go ahead and do a deep hole drill. We're using a drill that is 15 times diameter. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with a pilot drill that's gonna be the same size technically, but tolerance a little bigger than our deep hole drill. We're gonna go in, we're gonna make a pilot hole. That angle on that pilot hole is gonna be a little bit bigger than our deep hole drill. We'll then come back in with our deep hole drill and we'll drill all the way. Now on the deep hole drill, there's a couple things you wanna keep in mind. First, I'm not gonna turn on my internal coolant supply until I'm inside that hole. I'm gonna go in at about a 10% of my feed and speed, I'll go in nice and slow. When I get in about one times D, I'll then turn on my internal coolant and I'll wait till I get about one to about a half a millimeter away from the bottom of that pilot drill hole and then I'll go full speed. All right, so now that we drilled our deep hole, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut a counter bore in the top of this to fit one of our Vero S pegs or feet right here. So we're gonna make a counter bore plus or minus a couple tenths for this to drop right down into nice and clean. And then we'll put a thread to match that thread. First, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use a big inserted drill to open this thing up nice and quick. All right, so we're pretty close to size, a couple tenths. I went ahead and I ran a spring pass just to make sure there wasn't any leftover material before I made my adjustment. I'm now gonna add three tenths. We'll run it one more time. So she's a tight fit, but plus or minus two tenths usually is. So now we gotta go ahead and we gotta put a 3816 thread inside of here that'll match the thread on our Vero S foot or peg. So this is a live tool lathe, so I have a couple options. I can single point cut this thread, or since I have the milling option, I can go ahead and thread mill it, and that's what I'm gonna do now. I have a thread mill by Kenna Metal, right? We have 15 teeth, and so that's gonna allow me to thread mill this a lot faster than I could single point. Now, no thread is good until we check it with our crusty thread gauge here. So now, because this is a pretty big part, right? It's too big, I don't want it falling in my chip conveyor, and also, it's really too big for my parts catcher as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with my part off tool, I'm gonna feed to X.2, right? And that's gonna allow me then to come in and just break that part off. All right, so there you have it. We have another brass part, right? We used our master cam dynamic tool path to turn everything down. We went ahead and we machined that front little part right there, the counter bore and the thread for the Vero S pin. Now we'll go ahead and get it over to the mill department. Uh, hope you guys liked what you saw today. Tune in for more videos to come. We'll see you then.